If you type eczema photos into a Google image search, you'll see lots of photos of eczema on white skin. But eczema, which is also known as atopic dermatitis, is a chronic skin condition that can affect people of all skin types and ethnicities, including individuals with black skin. To try and address this problem, we're going to cover what eczema looks like on black skin, including clinical photographs to assist you in recognition and some key tips for treatment. So in terms of symptoms, most people think of eczema as a red, dry and itchy rash, which is how it appears in light skin. However, in dark skin, including brown skin, dark brown skin, black skin and other darker skin tones, this redness may be difficult to see. Beyond differences in severity, skin color and symptoms of eczema, unique forms of eczema may be seen in darker skin tones. Individuals with black skin more commonly develop small bumps on the torso, arms and legs called papular eczema, and sometimes bumps develop around hair follicles and resemble goosebumps. Individuals with black skin who have eczema also tend to have more extensive skin dryness and dark circles around their eyes, and if you repeatedly rub and scratch the eczema prone areas, then you might develop skin hardening and thickening called lichenification. and firm raised bumps on the skin called perigo nodules. Now, once the eczema clears up, individuals with black skin tend to experience a greater rate of pigmentary changes to their skin. The healed skin may look darker or lighter than the surrounding normal skin, such as hypopigmentation, where the skin looks lighter, or hyperpigmentation where the skin looks darker. Now some people actually find that this color change is more bothersome than the original eczema itself. But fortunately, once it's controlled, the skin color typically returns to normal. However, this can take several months. So now that you're more familiar with what eczema looks like on black skin, let's briefly cover diagnosis and treatment options. So in terms of diagnosis, eczema is typically diagnosed through your doctor asking you some questions as well as examining your skin. They may ask you questions like whether the rash is itchy and where it appears, when the symptoms first began, whether it comes and goes over time, whether there's a history of eczema in your family or whether you've got any other conditions or allergies. Now, diagnosis should not be influenced by skin color. So if you think you've got eczema, don't be afraid to raise this concern with your health provider directly. Finally, in terms of treatment, eczema treatment is determined by the severity and type of eczema. Treatment options can include things like moisturizers, topical corticosteroids, which you can apply directly to the skin, or other anti-inflammatory creams. And in more severe cases, there are other options like oral medications or phototherapy. Now, whilst there's not currently a cure for eczema, treatment options try to help relieve the symptoms. And there are also important things that you can do at home, like trying to avoid anything that triggers your eczema, so things like certain fabrics or wool or harsh soaps, avoiding scratching, and applying moisturizing lotions and ointments daily to the skin. Now, in terms of moisturization, this is a critical and crucial step in managing eczema. You might find that thicker emollient moisturizers work best and you can speak to your pharmacist about which to try. But it's really important to try avoid products that contain potential irritants or fragrances because these can exacerbate the eczema symptoms. Finally, it's really important to work with your health provider to develop a personalized treatment plan. For more resources on eczema, such as Mind the Gap resource from blackandbrownskin.co.uk and more information on causes, prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of eczema, please do see the description box of this video. Please also consider sharing your experiences and other helpful tips that you have for others below in the comment section. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.